we love wrestling, first of all, but to come and show the liberal, like, hey, we know what we stand for. Yeah. And, and definitely not the left side. So, do you want to see him get beat up? Yes. <laughs> do you want Trump to run again? Amen. You do? Yes. Yes? Yeah? All right, let's watch this two pro wrestler thing. <laughs> Apparently, two pro wrestlers developed a progressive liberal to be the bad guy of matches, and the atmosphere turned far darker. This is politics in America right now. Baby killer! Jihad Joe? Oh, dude, I need that shirt. Fuck me. Every time I watch one of these goddamn videos, I'm, like, looking through the crowd. Like, it's QVC for me, bro. I swear to God. I'm like, oh, man, that's a sick shirt. I would want Channeled that. Channeled through a pro wrestling ring. I just criticize their way of life and tell them how they need to follow a real man like myself or my hero, Joseph R. Biden. The progressive liberal Dan Richards is a wrestler who fans in Appalachia love to hate. When I grab a hold of him and I look in the crowd and say, hit him in the mouth, and they all come to their feet, yes, I hit him in the mouth. And they go, he did that for us. Dan and his mentor, Bo James, came up with the gimmick when Trump was first running for president. I said, my God, if we had a guy that was the anti-Trump and we could send him to the ring in these towns, how much heat would we get? They want to see you get your ass kicked. That's the heat we want. It's the greatest feeling in the world. It's a high. Now that politics has gotten so intense, it's getting too real for Dan. The response to me and people who think like me are more violent. <laughs> Dan really is liberal. I first interviewed him in 2017, which now, bizarrely, feels like a more innocent time. What the fuck? That's sick. So in 2017, you wore like an Oliver Print Hillary shirt. It was very Hillary focused. Hillary! But <laughs> what pieces of current events do you pull from to sort of trigger people? Well, I've got a Biden collage shirt and one of Kamala Harris. The Biden one triggers more people than anything because I don't think half these people even know who Kamala Harris is. Dan says he gets more heat now than when Trump was in office. He thinks fans feel like they got their hero taken away. Go, 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 go. There's so many people that think an election was stolen. I sell realism and emotions. It gets an emotion out of people. So whatever the headlines are of that week, that's what we're going to use. But do you ever talk about the election being stolen? Yeah. If Dan wins by cheating, then his opponent can go to the microphone, and, and like I do, and I say, a lot of these good people here tonight think you stole that just like an election was stole. The building goes nuts. Dude, that's awesome. Dude, oh no, but they took it seriously. Dude, that's so funny. This is yet another instance where like, like conservatives that have no way of like, and liberals are kind of like this too sometimes, or in a lot of instances, like they have no way of like viewing art through the lens of art. What these guys are doing is art. It's content. Why are you taking this seriously, man? What the fuck? It's not real. God damn it, dude. We really have this. We have a crisis of fucking stupidity in this country, dude. It is, it is unironically terrifying how fucking dumb these motherfuckers are, bro. They usually wrestle in Appalachian counties. Some went for Trump by more than 80%. It's a small mountain town, poor county, poor community, no hope. He represents to them everything that's put them in that position. And do you think it's changed in the last five years, how intense it is? Yeah, it's more dangerous. The moment I realized things have changed, I think, is when I had... <laughs> By the way, the White Trash Matters t-shirt unironically still better and funnier than White Lives Matter, that like the Kanye t-shirt. It's like white trash matters is literally less of a misdirection, uh, like purposeful misdirection caused by fucking white supremacists than than white trash matters. Like it's humorous, it's like uh, uh you know self deprecating, like that's funny. Anyway, rocks thrown at me and someone try to light me on fire and someone pull a knife on me. So recently. Yeah, I mean, what, that was a month ago. People are even more frustrated. They're even more divided. So now here's this guy in our town saying this stuff that we see on television that we don't agree with. So we can't get those people. We can't get the politicians. Let's get him. 
They'd advertised Dan would be wrestling bow in Stickleville, Virginia, a community of about 330 people. Fans came ready to boo Dan. We all have our own opinion, but uh, his, especially in this area, is a lot different. And Funny it's okay to bring kids to this? Oh, dude. Oh, don't even get me started, brother. You know, there's like bodacious women there. Kids go to Hooters all the fucking time. No issue there. There is one area where I do actually have an issue with kids, uh, you know, attending though. And that is child beauty pageants. That's why whenever I used to go to those like fucking psychotic, like QAnon, you know, uh, we got to end the pedophile deep state uh, weirdo conferences and shit like that. The one question I would always ask these motherfuckers is like, what do you think about child beauty pageants? Every single one of these motherfuckers loves child beauty pageants, bro. And they defend it. You know, everybody wants to punch him in the face. We love wrestling, first of all, but to come and show the liberal, like, hey, we know what we stand for. Yeah. yeah. And definitely not the left side. So, do you want to see him get beat up? Yes. Do you want Trump to run again? Amen. You do? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Corey Smith wrestles as white trash millionaire. He doesn't like Dan's politics, but he's off the Trump train. I don't see how things could get any worse. But with Trump, um, we would find out. I I love I love the White Trash Matters shirt and this guy as well. Look at this fucking guy, bro. He's like, yeah, I don't I don't want this Trump guy. He fucking he sucks. You think so? I believe so. Yeah. When you stop putting America first, start putting yourself and what you want to do first. I'm jumping I'm jumping off any train. But you got to tell me when that moment was. Um. Twitter. If I'm at my job and I'm constantly tweeting, I'm getting fired. I want Yes! Yes! Oh, that's such a good, such a like, dude, that's like dude, dude, dude. That is the best. I love that. It's what I say about Elon all the time, too. This motherfucker does not have a hard job, bro. People say CEOs have such a fucking jo hard job. Then explain the amount of fucking tweeting that Elon Musk does. You are not working, brother. This guy at least saw through the fucking pizzazz and recognized that, okay? Somebody that leads his country by actions, not by words. Bro, my job is posting, and I don't post as much as Elon. Think about that. My job is literally posting. I'm an influencer, okay? Ugh, yuck. Ew. And I don't tweet as much as Elon, brother. That's fucking crazy, okay? Dan walked out. It was next level. Then he got out of the ring and riled them up more. A guy looked ready to fight Dan. Some fans fought each other. What? Bo cut the match short. Backstage, they said the crowd got too hot too fast. We felt it coming. We pushed it too far. It's a different kind of hate now, and it's at a level that I haven't experienced previously. So anyone who doesn't think it's getting more violent and what, on what side it's coming from needs to have a reality check. You have to know how to let it breathe. You have to know how to hear it, feel it, live it. You can be great and do all the athletic moves, all the stuff. If you don't know your audience, it doesn't matter. Oh, brother, that's a beautiful final shot right there. Consumed them nachos and walked away. The saddest story ever told. Shortest sad story ever told. You know what I'm saying? Nachos consumed. But he ate too many of the tortillas without actually consuming the entirety of the cheese. That right there is sad, brother. The perfect balance between cheese and tortillas was not struck on this day me on the other hand I finger blast them shits after I'm done if I if I, if I, if I have if I have a situation where I eat all the tortillas and I got cheese left behind which is a rare occasion I'll, I'll finger it 
I'll finger that cheese. I'll just like that. You're doing a bit, but I know people that sound exactly like you. Okay, I'm not even doing a bit. I'm actually explaining what I do do in real life. I'm just putting on a a uh, accent. If you guys have never done that, I don't know what to tell you. You go to a movie theater, okay, and it's dark, so you're not actually hitting the fucking cheese nacho balance, and and you end up having some leftover cheese. I'm putting that shit. I'm dipping my finger in there. Straight up. I'm unafraid to admit it, okay? I don't give a fuck. I'm not afraid to openly state it. I do that shit, okay? I'm a Sam Piker, and I finger the cheese if there's cheese left. It's a rare occasion. Same with icing in a tub. Oh, 100% icing, cheese. I even lick the dish. You guys have seen me. I, I lick the sauce. Like when I get sweet green salad, sweet green salads, and then, uh, you know, there's some sauce remaining in the bottom of the container, I lick it in front of you guys. It's not like I care. Finger, I'm dipping my dick. <laughs> it's it's going to be hard to, to suck it off your own cock, but hey, good for you if you're able to do it. More power to you, brother. It's okay if you do it, though. You ain't fat. That's what you think. You do drink all the soup in the ramen bowl? Oh, 100%. From one fatty to another, that's some fat shit? Oh, yeah, 100%. I know. I'm not, dude, dude. Let me tell you something. I didn't get to the fucking weight that I got to in my life on accident, okay? There was a lot of hard work that I put in. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> like, it feels like a breeze, and sometimes it sneaks up on you, and then one morning you're like, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Can't see my toes no more. The oh, fuck, these shirts are... You know, they're filling up a little bit, but that's hard work. I put years in the paint, okay? Dan walked out, it was next level.